Welcome back to Do Totally Good. Today we've got some exciting news for you. The green sea turtle has just been reclassified globally as least concern on the International Union for Conservation of Nature red list. But as this is important, this is not a signal to relax our efforts. In fact, it's a moment to celebrate and stay vigilant. Why is this such a big deal and what does this mean? Well, let's dive in. Over decades of work by scientists, conservationists, local communities and governments, the green sea turtle has shown remarkable signs of recovery. Populations in many regions have increased, nesting numbers have climbed, and human-driven threats in some of these places have significantly reduced. These gains have now enabled the IUCN to move the species off of the endangered global category and into least concern a milestone for marine conservation. So what has helped? Some of the key factors include protection of nesting beaches, restricting poaching of eggs and adult turtles, use of turtle excluder devices and fisheries to reduce accidental bycatch, protection and restoration of foraging habitats such as seagrass beds and coastal reefs, long-term monitoring and research that have allowed us to better track these trends, and community engagement and education helping create these local turtle guardians to help protect turtles and their habitats. So how significant are the numbers? According to recent assessment, global trends are generally stable or increasing in many regional green turtle populations. But it's very crucial to understand what least concern means and what it does not mean. It does not mean no concern. It does not mean that the job is done and quite the opposite. It means that the species has improved enough in many places to step down a category, but many challenges remain and many regional populations are still facing very serious threats. Let's talk about those remaining threats. Bycatch. Even today, adult and juvenile turtles are accidentally caught in fishing gear, trapped in nets, or mishandled. Habitat loss. Nesting beaches are shrinking due to coastal development, erosion, and rising sea levels. Foraging grounds are being lost or degraded by pollution, sedimentation, and climate change. Climate change itself. Higher sand temperatures can skew the hatchling sex ratios. Sea level rise and storms erode nesting beaches. Plastics have a huge impact on sea turtles, whether it's consumed, they could become entangled, or impact their environment. And although many populations are recovering, many remain far below historic levels, so their resilience is still low. But here's the good part. You, yes you, can continue this momentum. And here's how. Support turtle conservation organizations working in nesting beach protection, rescue, and bycatch reduction. When snorkeling or diving, follow responsible wildlife guidelines. Don't chase or touch turtles, avoid disturbing nesting beaches, and keep your distance. Reduce plastic use. Support cleanups, advocate for ghost net removal, and sustainable fishing practices. Promote protection of coastal and marine habitats, seagrass beds, coral reefs, and clean beaches. And spread the word. Tell the story of success that recovery is possible and encourage others to keep working the fight. To wrap up, downlisting the green sea turtle from endangered to least concern is a wonderful conservation win, but it's not the finish line. Consistent effort, global cooperation, local action and informed support, we can continue to ensure these species continues its recovery and securing a thriving future. Thanks so much for watching another Do Truly Good video. If you found this update inspiring, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with others so we can continue this great wave of momentum. Until next time, let's continue doing some turtly good. Bye. It's time to dive in and do something good with Turtle the Turtle, just like we should.